Hey YouTube, I had a problem with this uh, RoboGuard beam and I don't know if you can hear but I suspected the batteries must have been dead because the the tone of the beeps is it's quite soft as well. Now I've got an I've got a very old HQ and on this HQ it has uh, temper and trouble. Now on the newer HQs it's temper and status. Now, because this uh, this beam was it was triggering the alarms all the time, what I did was I just deactivated it on my HQ. Okay, but you just heard it now. This is zone four. But strange enough, when I try to activate zone four again, it refused to activate. It couldn't have been that the zone was deleted because the zone wouldn't delete until unless I go in to the zone programming and I delete the zone. But what I did was I just held down Tamper, which is zone A, and then it beeps and it uh, it shows all the zones lit. That means that this one was still programmed onto it, and then I just press Tamper again to get me out of the programming mode, and uh, then lo and behold, zone four was lit up again. So just something that I uh, I, I thought I'd share because I didn't know that uh, we could do that. Okay, so now I just want to show you in order to program it again into the HQ, maybe somebody deleted it. These buttons are quite uh, easy to press unknowingly. So what you do is if you want to if you want to program zone A, tamper is zone A, status would be on your HQ, mine says trouble, that's zone B. So if you want to program the beam back into a zone, all you got to do is you just hold down, I'm going to press a trouble takes you into zone programming mode and it says that I only have zone 2 programmed into it so if I want to program zone 4 I just pro press zone 4 and then you press the tamper switch on the RoboGuard beam and then it'll beep 10 times and then it's programmed that's how you do that so what you can also do if you're not sure about the batteries is you could also test them so oh no there's some corrosion here already yeah these batteries are dead altogether they should give you about 12 volts okay so i'm gonna replace these batteries now and uh, i hope this video was helpful if you liked it please hit the thumbs up and please consider subscribing thank you